The Bayo Tapestry and the Death of Harold Godwinson. And penises. Don't forget the penises. Oh. Okay. Happy now. It is well established by tradition, by the Bayo Tapestry, and by my old history teacher that Harold Godwinson the King of the Saxons, was killed by an arrow in his eye at the Battle of Hastings in 1066. But how reliable is this? Early accounts of the Battle of Hastings make no mention of Harold dying with an arrow in his eye, and the tapestry itself has been restored many times over the years. In the early 18th century, a drawing was made of the tapestry which doesn't seem to show an arrow at all. It merely shows a line which many experts think indicates where the fabric of the tapestry had been damaged. So the arrow that we see today was actually added later on. This may not be Harold at all. Perhaps Harold is this one being chopped to pieces by a man on a horse. That would fit with earlier accounts of the battle, which say that Harold was dismembered, which could mean that his arms and legs were chopped off, or it could mean... That's right. This is where the penises come in. Of course, you'll only read about it in the tabloid newspapers. Most serious scholars don't believe a word of it. While I'm on the subject, though, I might as well point out that George Garnet, Professor of Medieval History at the University of Oxford, has counted 93 penises in the Bayer Tapestry, uh, most of them belonging to horses, but some of them are human. These human genitals are all in the margins, and according to another professor, Stephen White, the margins are representations of the fables of Aesop. Is that it? Are you done? Oh, I think that's quite enough, don't you?